Hey guys, what's going on? Aaron Bennett here. Welcome to the video. Celsius updates, bankruptcy updates. These are the topics I'm going to cover today. The first thing I'm going to cover right here, this is the official committee of unsecured creditors statement regarding the chapter 11. So I made some comments. I'm going to go through that and basically let you know what the committee is planning to do on our behalf. Next, I'm going to take a look at the declaration from Alex, basically providing all of the terms of use dating back to February 18th, 2018. Then I'm going to talk about sell token. The first thing right here, this updated post talking about the sell short squeeze and then taking a look at the price of sell token and what's going on here. So guys, if you are following Celsius Network and you have not subscribed, go ahead and click that little button. I'm giving you guys the updates of everything you need to know what's going on with this bankruptcy case. So first, I want to start out with this statement from the official committee of unsecured creditors and what they are planning to do on our behalf. So they start out talking about what Celsius started as. Basically, they promised that it was safer than banks. Celsius reassured its account holders, regulators, and the broader marketplace that it was adequately capitalized. And then they mention this Medium blog article titled Dan the Torpedoes Full Speed Ahead, which came out a few days before they halted withdrawals. This article said that Celsius continues to process withdrawals daily. They have reserves. And again, two days after this or so, they halted withdrawals. And they said that these claims of everything was fine was echoed by Alex publicly in his videos and saying that the funds were safe. Alex also said that Celsius always had adequate capital reserves and a robust risk management protocol and that users could withdraw at any time. Obviously, we know these were empty and false promises, as you can see right here. The committee talks about Alex making several alarming admissions. They talked about the whole of $1.2 billion, at least the initial hole right now, some of their illiquidity. They talk about all the letters that were written to the judge and, which is really awesome, this committee has read all of those letters. They mentioned that the committee has a fiduciary duty to act as the collective voice for all all unsecured creditors, basically you and I. It is their fiduciary duty, meaning it is their job under law to act in our best interest. Even saying acting in our best interest brings up Alex saying that. So uh, don't take that the wrong way. They actually are acting in our best interest. And they're going to do a couple things. Investigate the debtor, meaning Celsius, participate in the formulation of a plan of reorganization or possibly liquidation. And they're also going to provide access to information, which I'll cover later in this video, and receive comments from the constituents represented by the committee. The committee's goal is to maximize the recoveries of account holders and unsecured creditors. They talk about they've hired White and Case LLP. They also hired restructuring advisor M3 Partners and the blockchain consultant Elementus. In addition, they engaged to Perella Weinberg Partners, one of the leading restructuring investment banks. And they've also engaged Kroll Inc. to establish a website and call center. So everybody asking me questions, very soon there will be an official website where you can call in, email in, and they will have all the Q&A, all the FAQ right there. And this website will have important deadlines, instructions on how to fill out proof of claims, and all of that good stuff. So there are five things I want to do. The first one, the committee intends to ensure that the debtor Celsius is effectively safeguarding their account holders' assets. Basically, is our crypto safe with Celsius right now? They're going to look into that. And if it's not, they're going to do something about it. Second, the committee intends to oversee the debtor's efforts to develop a viable business plan that reduces overhead and preserves the debtor's limited cash reserves. Basically, they're going to help Celsius figure out what the hell to do right now. Also preserving how much cash reserves that Celsius has so they don't blow it all and basically making sure this all goes well. The third thing, which is pretty interesting, the committee intends to thoroughly investigate the pre-petition, I think I'm saying that correctly, conduct of Mashinsky and other Celsius insiders. So basically, they're going to look into Mashinsky, the insiders, and what they did with our funds, what they did with the crypto, have they done anything shady, and basically, have they done everything kosher, no pun intended. The fourth thing, the committee will explore strategic options to reorganize or sell the business. And also, very importantly, the committee will explore options for an in-kind 
recovery. So this committee has listened to us via the letters, and they realize how important it is for us to get our coins back in kind versus taking a USD equivalent, especially if this takes one or two years potentially, and the price of crypto assets goes up a ton, we don't want to take basically the USD value at the moment of bankruptcy filing. We would rather have that Ethereum, that Bitcoin, that Solana, whatever. We want to have it in kind. And finally, it says the committee's advisors have set up the following email address, which is Celsius Committee Inquiries at ra.kroll.com, where claimants can send questions or information to add to the committee's investigation. The committee has also established a Twitter account at Celsius UCC to publish updates to the community. And I will include this email address and their Twitter in the description below this video. So the second thing I just want to briefly cover is Alex providing or Celsius providing on Alex's behalf, all of the terms of use dating back to early February 2018. Now, this file, this PDF, is 1,126 pages. So I am not going to go through it. That would be ridiculous to go through it uh, because I know that the people being paid to go through it will comb through this with a fine tooth comb. And basically, if there's any discrepancy or there's any changes or any terms of use completely changed, basically saying, hey, in order to access your Celsius account, you have to click accept. And all of a sudden that terms of use was, hey, you don't own your coins anymore. Celsius owns all of your crypto, basically what they're saying now, which is the current terms of use. So they are going to comb through this. I'm not going to comb through it, but I'm glad that all of those terms of uses have been provided so the lawyers and the legal team can go through it. So let me talk about the price of sell token right now. So Jade is an influencer on Twitter, really, really spearheading this sell short squeeze. Now I am not promoting sell short squeeze. Uh, most of our sell token is locked on the app anyway. And I really don't know how this is all going to play out. So this is not me promoting it. But a lot of you guys want me to talk about it. And she has made a really comprehensive medium article talking all about how it works, what could happen with the price of sell token, and what this could potentially mean. Then again, today, ironically, I saw that Alex cashed out some of his sell token as the price of sell token is going up. So there's reports that he sold 44 million sell token over the last several years, but it looks like in the last couple of days or so, he sold $28,000 worth of sell token to Ether. So as the price of sell token has been going up and we recently breached that $2 mark, if I go right here, about a few hours ago, we breached $2, Alex is somehow still allowed to privately sell his sell token. I don't know what to make of that. You can make of that what you want. Some of us have some sell token that is not locked in Celsius. So that is cool if you want to sell it again. But most of us have all of our sell token locked in Celsius. And there is no guarantee that we will ever get to see that sell token again. It could be one to two years. We really don't know. So that's why I'm very sensitive talking about the price of sell token, because for 99% of us watching this video, it really doesn't matter. We don't have any more money to buy sell token, you know, like if you want to buy it in MetaMask or FTX. So it's like, why are you even talking about the price? So I just want to make that clear. That's why I'm not promoting it, because I think it doesn't apply to most of us. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to bring that up, but I hope this video was helpful. I just want to remind you guys first that there is a meeting of creditors right here that is going to be held on August 19th, 2022 at 9 a.m. Eastern time. And I'll let you know if there's an official phone number to call to check into this call. And secondly, we have the second day hearing, which is going to be August 16th at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So today it is, I think, August 8th or 9th, maybe 10th. I have lost track of time. So we have about a week until the next day of hearings takes place. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to catch these updates as they come out. I will give you guys everything you need to know regarding what you need to do, filing claims, all that kind of stuff. So just to kind of summarize that, we heard that the committee is going to set up a website, also a Twitter, that will give everybody information regarding when it's time to file a claim. How do you file a claim? What's the website? How do you do it? They're probably going to give all that information way better than I could give it. There's a Twitter account that I mentioned inside this video. There's also an email address. I will include both of those below. For now, guys, we are basically just waiting. There is nothing to do. 
I personally have not filed a claim yet. I am waiting for an updated claim form to say how much crypto I have, not how much US dollars I have. Right now, it's still very, very confusing. So everybody who's asked me, what do I do? Should I file? I'm not a lawyer. I'm just telling you that I have not filed a claim yet. So we will get more information. I don't think there is a rush to do anything right now. There's not like a date that you have to submit anything by at the moment. Right now, we are waiting. But just to finish off, nothing I'm saying on this video is financial advice. I am not a lawyer. I have never studied law. I'm just a bro in a campsite talking to you on my computer. So guys, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. So next time, talk with you soon and bye for now.